Ultimate Demon and DemonDemon.com. Content Machine 3.0. Wow, wasn't expecting a user interface to look like this. And when it booted up, it had a fancy graphic thing that came up. Now, I've not done any testing. This could end up being a complete mess. It does say that you need a, ver a version of uh, uh, Visual... Uh, no, it, it's the runtime libraries from Microsoft in there. I can't remember which version it is. Um, but I tend to have most of them, so I'm just going to fly on here and just see how it works. I'll click New first. That seems quite obvious. Okay, loving the new UE folks. Content source built in Scraper. Built in Scraper plus, plus local files. That is massive, right, feature. You know what? It's a massive feature. Um, I'm hoping if it's usable in the right way, it makes syndication and, co and, and um, curation so easy. If it's top... Uh, paragraph is your own and then you can syndicate the rest of the file it's great stuff scraper settings let's have a look at that number of threads enable proxies I'm putting proxies in it yet campaign settings what is that avoid adult content yeah paragraph sentence bookmark variations plus about me variations that's pretty much the same as the last one so then you put in your campaign name and your three keywords okay up to three uh, I think you where do you select how many keywords you want um, Oh, look at this. Something I've spotted straight away. What quality of content do you want? So, uh, it, it has a content machine quality score. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3+, plus, and then custom settings. Fantastic. The spinners, uh, KM spinner manually or none. Uh, keyword protect on or off. So, if you've got certain words you're scraping for and you don't want the spinner to mess it up, that's fine. Credentials. There we go. We've got spinner chief, spin chimp and chimp rewriter. Spin Rewriter, the best spinner, and of course my big favourite word AI, uh, which is awesome. Um, it's the one that does the top job for me. Uh, the spinner that's built in is okay, uh, but I, I would always use word AI out of choice. Uh, particularly if I'm if I'm saying I want tier one, I'm going to spin it. I'm not going to spin it with anything else other than word AI. Um, next, okay, it's not going to let me do next, is it? Okay, let's have a campaign name, then we'll call it test. And the main keyword will be business. All right, as soon as I fill in the first one, it opens a second one. All right, uh, so I'll do office. And yeah, now it's open the next one, uh, desk. <laughs> right, this should be stunning stuff. I would never actually use it for, I would, I would use it occasionally for tier one. So I would never use it on my website, but okay, I'm spinning. I could put my details now, I'm not going to. Uh, just an image, just a video, both, so you can do the embeds as usual. Advanced, which is fantastic, allows you to align your video, uh, set the width. Quite important to set this quite narrow, folks, because a lot of the places you're going to be putting it don't have big pages. They've got that old Kubrick style of page layout, and 560 is the absolute maximum. You probably want to go 480. Alignment, um, and it will do put it in a random place as well, the image, and all, all the which is best. You know, might not look brilliant most of the time. You let it make its own choice, but random is always better. Okay, so we're not going to do that now. Will it let me do next? It certainly does. How many contextual links do you want? Now, if you're exporting this into a file which puts links on itself, if you're using Ultimate Daemon, SE Nuke, or if you're still sending out spam with GSA or something, then you may not want to put any contextual links in here. Article body links, resource box links, so you can decide. So, you know, if you're going to do a, a specific wiki, a uh, specific article, one you may want to put one in a re resource box. You then put your links, your anchor text, and your token. I put naught. It's not going to bother with that. Activate image links, fantastic, which means the images are going to contain the links. And we can now... Um, Build content. Uh, I'll save the blueprint. Let's save that blueprint and go back out. Save blueprint as boring office. Because I shall never be using it. Okay, let's go back. And does it let you go back? Campaign new, blueprint none. Oh. Uh, important the quality output depends heavily on which word or phrase spinner you use. Yes, it does. Um, can I go back out from here? No, it doesn't seem I can. Um, save it back, build and post. Right, once I'm in there, looks like I'm pretty much committed to getting the action done. So I right, let it go and build its content. Search for content, off it goes. <clears throat> I'm not using any proxies. 
but it's only going to hit each content source a few times and I'm sure it's going to find plenty of content on that. I'll be back once that's done. And we're back in the New York groove and it's done it. So let's have a look, build content. So it's gone away, it's scraped all the content. It's now building the content and let's have a quick look and see what we've got. Back in the New York groove, uh, Russ Ballard, I think that was. Okay, so here's the body of an article and it's pretty big. I think it's 20 versions of every paragraph. So every paragraph repeats 20 times and then every sentence in that paragraph is 20 times as well. So the number of variations there is just unbelievable. It's basically 400 articles but then you can word spin it as well on top of that and you can character spin it as well on top of that. Now this one, blimey it is, it's longer than I thought. It's enormous. It's an enormous article. Uh, as usual you can export to any of your favorite tools. It does all the formatting for you. You say how many uh, parts of each sort of content you want for your SE New, Lycorn, Ultimate, Demon, Six Submitter, RankWiz, exports directly to those, just creates the files with everything already formatted, either the links in place or not. If those tools put the links in, you probably want to leave it not because then the tools will put the links in for you. But you can if you want. Uh, it'll export your wikis in the right format, you know, with the wiki embedded codes, uh, your BB codes where that's appropriate, your HTML tags where that's appropriate. It'll do it all right. You don't even have to think about it. You just click on the tool, it'll upload the stuff and start propagating your content. Uh, let's have a quick look at an unspun article. Unfortunately, this was spun with Content Machine's basic spinner. Casual conversation at the outlet of a company meeting is permissible, but avoid topics like the associate's wife and kids. Oh, well. It reads well, I just don't know what it's on about. Free arrest records in North Carolina viewed about the web. Again, probably means something to somebody. It means nothing to me. But it reads okay. Um, and that's just with Content Machine's inbuilt spinner. Well done, Content Machine bookmarks. It's pretty big as well. Unspun bookmark, flexible height gas lift. Don't know what one of those is. Okay, so that's the content, and you can create as many of those as you like. We'll just whiz through some of the features, and I'll tell you about their great offer from November the 4th. How many contextual links you want, you can add them before or after. Uh, you can create this before you scrape or after, put it back to zero. Article body links, you know what that's all about. Uh, resource box links, um, that's if you're doing an article. Activate image links, which is very handy means you, you link from an image, great for variation, output format, here we are, HTML, BB code, a wiki format. If you're exporting uh, to a particular tool and you're exporting like to Ultimate Daemon, articles, wikis, web twos, it, it knows already and it create it puts the right sort of formatting in each one. You don't have to worry about it, does it all behind the hood, uh, same as uh, Content Machine 2.0 did. Uh, if we pop back, I'll have a look at some of the other features you've got in here. Um, scraper settings, we'll go through that quickly. So how many threads, timeout, so if you can't find content or if a page isn't opening. Proxies, which will take IP locked proxies or username password and proxies. You really don't need very many. Five or six proxies would be plenty. I mean, I, I just did this campaign with no proxies and it worked fine. Um, but you, you don't need a lot. Campaign settings, avoid adult content, that's handy. Uh, it then it's got a list of words. If it's they appear on the page, it won't pick them. If, if you're struggling for content, you can stick that on. Or if you're writing for the adult market, you can. Here we are, 20 paragraph variations, 20 embedded sentence variations, how many about me's you want. Very good. There's your keywords. Uh, how good you want the content to be spun. It, does some presettings on the spinner however you probably want to go in if you've got the spinner and do those individually you have more than one database it creates two databases of content so you can do a compare and contrast or spin one and leave the other one unspun uh, which some people wanted a while back there's, there's uses for that and that, that's the way it works you can add your credentials you've got content machines internal spinner spinner chief spin chimp chimp rewriter spin rewriter the best spinner and word ai and it will use those to do the application calls direct to those and spin directly. Um, images and videos we've already looked at. Just an image, just a video, both. Random. Random's always very good. Uh, you can then spin database one, spin database two, whatever you want. Um, advanced for your images and videos. Uh, there will be here, I can't find it at the moment, a place to actually stick your own um, YouTube uh, video URLs in there and images in there so it's a fantastic way to broadcast your own 
YouTube videos, get them broadcast around the web. You know, you can you can make a list of the uh, URLs and send those. Change those about a bit. Uh, resize your images, as I mentioned earlier. Keep them reasonably small. 480 is about the maximum you want them, so I might lower that a little bit. But there you go. Um, adding your own content is awesome. Um, you can activate your own content. Uh, he's not going to let me do it there. If you set up your own content, write it in there. Where do you want it? Where do you want to put it? Do you want it at the beginning, the end? So imagine you're doing content curation and you want to use the same bit of main content. You're not going to spam it. You're only going to send it to 15 or 20 sites, but you want your own introduction paragraph at the top as you should do with content curation. You write the, just that one paragraph once, spin it enough to give 20 good variations. Spinning for 20 variations isn't hard work, folks. And of course, you can spin with but at the moment just KM spinner, but if you've got the other spinners involved you can spin with those with the various settings in there, there you are, whichever spinner you want frequency word amount, there's a word AI one come up and then it will put that, at, I've got it set there to the beginning beginning of, oh you can't see it's gone off the screen there, beginning sorry about that, beginning, middle, end, random or inside but if you content curation you put it at the beginning of the articles, this paragraph, fantastic um, so it makes content curation so easy um, that's it really, except to say that it, this launch is on November the 4th. Um, it will be at demodema.com as a preferred affiliate. I'll be offering the best deal possible and of course the best bonus, which is membership to Demon SEO, um, which is you know, uh, my private forum. You have to either pay or buy something from me or just be a really super top great mate of mine to get in there. Uh, there I give the free link lists every month uh, and these are the ones that I double test that work with most of your major tools. These aren't the crappy lists that other people give away that don't work. I, I test these both that the, the tool will accept them and then I test them actually send content out to them. Make sure you can create accounts and whatnot on them and I, I give the proofs of that in a spreadsheet to the members every month as well or every couple of months when I do a full refresh. There's other tools in there, there's a thriving community, uh, there's uh, things like PLR articles, um, ebooks, um, there's a couple of applications, there's a link index application and it's live, that's the thing about it, it's my forum and it's live so I change what's in there from time to time, I update it, if something new needs to be put in there and if, if I get access to something, uh, be it a new tool, a better discount, then my members get it first and I do get discounts that other people don't get, I do get tools that other, to try that other people don't get and it's my members at Demon SEO that benefit from that. So the bonus is full membership to that if you get from yourself, as well as the best discount, of course, that goes without saying. It comes out on November the 4th. It is awesome. Um, I only promote things I use myself. I know that's the sort of bullshit that everybody comes out with, but that's why I only promote three or four things. For instance, I have Capture Sniper and things like that on my site anymore that I've taken my affiliate link out because I no longer promote them. Uh, because if I don't use it, I don't, sorry, I no longer use them. And if I don't use them, I don't promote them. They still exist. You can still buy it. I'll still refer you to their site. I just no longer take affiliate commission for it. I've had people email me. Do you know your affiliate link doesn't work anymore? No, I've stopped. I've decided to stop being affiliate because in all fairness, I don't use the product. So you know, if, if you get something from me, you're getting a tool that I use regularly. And Content Machine is one of two or three tools. It's absolutely indispensable if used the right way. You can use it to create high quality content uh, to fill this idea, this new idea of having profiles rather than links and providing quality. If used in the right way, it's an excellent tool for that and will save you so much time. And it's dirt cheap. November the 4th, demondemon.com uh, for the best deal. Scritty signing off.